In this video, I will be teaching you guys how to speedrun. Let's get straight into it. Have you ever watched those speedrunning videos and wondered, I wonder if I could do that? In this video, I'm going to show you how to. The first thing you need to focus on in speedrunning is finding 7 iron. There are many ways to do that, but one way is to find a shipwreck. Now, a lot of times you'll get slowed down a lot raiding these. So what you want to do is you don't want to waste your time doing the buried treasure map. You want to go down to this lower section and glue all of this. Take the iron nuggets too because you'll craft them into more iron. Now, I never actually talked about what we're going to do with the iron, so I'm going to get out a crafting table and show you what to craft. And you're going to make an iron pickaxe. This is very important. You need an iron pickaxe for the nether part of speedrunning. So yeah, just make your iron pickaxe. You might also want to practice speed crafting. That or just like know your way around the crafting book, but I don't like using that when speedrunning. Then another thing you're gonna need to make is a bucket. This is a good way to set it up with your bucket in your offhand. And then depend depending on over here we have our fort our um portal but depending on if you actually had your portal you would have to mine up, up a bunch of gravel and then it might give you flint and then you use your last piece you don't even need a crafting table for it and you get a flint and steel a lot of times you might also want a sword for crowd control at the bastion but yeah, that's about it. And once you're ha you have that, you need to locate a lava pool. Or you can find a ruined portal and fix it up like I have here. And then take your flint and steel and light it. A lot of times there won't be a ruined portal that you're able to fix and it won't have obsidian. So it's best to just do what I show here. Once you find a lava pool, all you need to do is get some water. But anyway, you need to make a setup like this. This is how I do it because I'm not very good at speed running. But anyway, you get your water out. Let's finish off this area here. Just place the water down there. And then lava bucket. That's not how you spell lava. And each time you go over there, and you place one there, one there, one there, one there, and essentially just in the formation of the portal. Make sure you do the water source block last so that you don't run out of time to place all the others. But anyway, once you do that, if you get a flint and steel, you can light the portal.
Yeah. <laughs>